excited for today's video, which is a huge Aldi and one little little bag over there. <laughs> little little bag and this video was inspired by amy rose walker if you don't know her here on youtube i will leave her video linked below she did one um which inspired me to do it and i was just like girl you influenced me as soon as i watched your video i was straight to aldi i was straight to little and i just wanted to pick everything up so i did so now i'm gonna influence you guys to go check out your middle of little and random bits and bobs from Aldi. We all know the section. If you're an Aldi or little shopper, we all know that area in the middle, that really random area that you find random things in. That is where I headed. Picked up a load of goodies and I thought I would unbox them here. Unbox them? Who am I? A blogger? I thought I would open them here on a video with you guys to see if there's anything that you are interested in and might want to go check out yourself. So if you are new here to my channel, my name is Freya. I love everything fashion and interiors and beauty and that kind of thing. I upload on here twice a week and pretty much daily over on my Instagram accounts plural. I have my fashion Freya Frankton 1 and my homework Freya Frankton Home which I am nearly at 10k on which if I get to 10k will be incredible because then I can do swipe up to shops for you guys. It's a pretty big milestone for me to be able to reach 10k on that. If you're not already I would appreciate it so so much if you go check it out. So without further ado let's get into showing you guys what I picked up from Aldi and Lidl. I'm not going to categorise this I'm going to just jump straight in. And also I will be having a giveaway within this video so be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that and instructions on how to enter will be left in the description box. Okay, I feel like we should just start with Lidl seeing as though we've only got a little bag from Lidl. Okay, let me just take out my, uh, my magazines here. Who else gets excited about picking up these magazines en route out and just getting back home and having a browse through these little brochures with your cuppa? I certainly do. First things first. Woo! Febreze, one of my faves. This is the lavender scent. I'm nearly out of the lavender one, which I use upstairs. So on beddings, pillows and cushions upstairs, towels, and Tom's room, which has the open wardrobe bit. I just like to spritz down the clothes every once in a while just to make them smell a little fresh and the lavender scent is perfect for the bedroom and this is quite a generous size this one actually this is 500 mils at 1.99 okay i just need to go get something one second this kind of leads into my next items quite nicely so i thought i'd just show you oh my god it's so good uh jo malone just does it for me every time jo malone pine and eucalyptus scented candle these i have in my hallway let's just burn one now shall we let me just go into my candle drawer and find some matchsticks. Yes, I have a full candle drawer. You'll see why at the end of this haul. I'm addicted to buying candles. Okay, so the Jo Malone ones are definitely a treat. I don't burn these every day. I like to get the dupes for myself and Tom. <laughs> you know, cheapskates. I like the dupes, you know. I like the ambiance of having a candle i like to save the nice ones for the special occasions every once in a while if we have guests over which is very rare to be honest but yeah pine and eucalyptus was a christmas edition from jo malone it smells incredible so to kind of complement the candles that we have in this room i did pick up two items first things first the luxury collection from lidl aka white company dupe this is in frosted pine and it's pine eucalyptus and sandalwood this is pine and eucalyptus. So it's a pretty good dupe smelling spray that I can spritz the house for that real boost of pine and eucalyptus scent, which I love. Yes, it's seasonal, but it's quite a nice springy seasonal one because even though it's a winter edition, like Christmassy scents, the pine and eucalyptus I find is really fresh, kind of herby grass, outdoors, that kind of thing, which actually smells nice and fresh. So. I'm perfectly happy with burning these throughout uh, spring as well. In fact, all year round, let's be honest. So that was £3.99. And then to go with that, I also got this to try. £1.49 they were. Sorry, I just keep referring to my, my receipt over there. I can't remember all the prices off the top of my head. But this is the Febreze Air Mist in Frosted Pine. Again, just a nice Ooh. Mm, addition to 
complement the pine and eucalyptus couple of beauty items that I picked up from Lidl they obviously have the dupe versions but they also have the branded which I like because I tend to opt for the branded ones especially with dry shampoo I love the Batiste ones I've been using it for years this one is in the original scent which is my fave at $1.99 they also have these Radox feel awake uh, shower gels I personally like to use my molten brown ones and my nice ones but I just throw this one in the shower for Tom who used it every day quite liberally so he can have this one at 95p and actually he really likes using these ones anyway I think he's the fancy ones you don't get loads out like you do with these so yeah he can have that one and then the last two items I got from Lidl are Dr. Beckman products which we all know Miss Tinch is a fan of and I love that for International Women's Day they were doing Dr. Beck Woman that was genius um, this is a service it deep clean dishwasher cleaner I like to do these every once in a while this is just one treatment and then this is the same but for the washing machine cleaner again just one treatment per box and these are $1.99 each so the Dr. Beckman things I'm going to transition quite nicely into my Aldi bags now because I did actually pick up two things I've got quite a long receipt from Aldi so bear with me finding the prices I just like to tell you guys how much everything was though from Dr Beckman himself <laughs> so thanks Dr Beckman I got the Glow White Ultra Restores Whiteness Sheets which I used one of these already actually and I was impressed I wasn't blown away this is only two in wash sachets as well so it's just two per pack and they even say if you really need to restore wine as use both so they kind of are quite pricey can't find them on the receipt you know and I'm almost thinking you know how they whiz the things through the till so quickly and give you like the biggest anxiety ever whilst trying to bag everything up and you haven't got the space and all oh, panic central I'm even thinking, have they scanned these through and not actually registered it? Because I cannot find it. I've got two receipts from Aldi, because I did this shop on two separate occasions, and I can't find it on either. But I'm guessing if it's similar to Lidl, about $1.99 per treatment. This one is the other one that I picked up, the Colour and Dirt Collector. This one is 50 sheets. So you get a lot more in here. So maybe these are a little bit more, but again, can't find these. They must have just whoop, 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 and just missed these two. Don't know what happened there, but if I've got two freebies, I'm <laughs> happy with that. Oh, I've just spotted something that I remembered I bought. Oh, that would go nicely with that coffee that I've just got over there. Apple pie cookies. Does that not sound incredible? Again, for autumn lovers, I feel like those of you that would wish for autumn all year round, this is an autumnal little treat. Apple pie cookies, the famous apple strudel recipe. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be having one of these after this video. These ones were one pound and nine pence. Oh, I took something into the kitchen, which I was going to show you. Okay, I'm going to go get it. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because it's food. I'd put it away with the, the other food. But um, I wanted to show you these because of how much of a bargain they were. So I've got the Betty Crocker American Style Pancake Mix. Simply add milk. And the Greens Original Pancakes Recipe Makes 10. Guess how much these were? If you saw my Instagram or my homework account, you will have already seen nine pence. So I cleared the shelves. No, I didn't. I just stuck with the one and then got that other one as well. But OMG, if you are a pancake lover, I think it's because pancake day is over, 9p they reduced them to. So go get them quick. Where to next? I'm still looking at those apple pie cookies, trying to resist for now. Let's talk coronavirus. Uh, the media has hyped it up so much that it's starting to get a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. But I picked up these for 75p each. They're like the Barocca dupe. Um, orange flavour, vitamin C and zinc this one is. You just pop it in some water, have one a day. This one's the energy release in tropical flavour. Effervescent tablet can't say that word this one has loads more vitamins in though c b1 b2 b6 folic acid b12 biotin calcium magnesium zinc so 75p each i thought they were pretty good and i'm gonna start having one a day to keep the doctor away okay eraser pads i thought i would pick these up for mainly for like a few marks that we have on our walls they are usually quite safe to use i mean they do always say just test a little small area but generally speaking they work on most surfaces all you need to do is wet them 
and rub. So no need for harsh chemicals that might ruin your paint or walls or anything. These were £1.69. Okay, I needed some more hairspray and generally speaking, I honestly just think the cheap hairsprays do the job absolutely fine. The La Cura one, the Aldi branded ones are only 85p for this giant hairspray. It might smell a bit granny. I'm not holding my hopes up for it to be smelling amazing. But if it does the job, then I'm fine with that. And at 85p, you can't really go wrong. What do you think of my new jumper, guys? I really like it. I like the oversized fit. I'm glad I sized up to a large in this. I featured it in my uh, H&M haul last week. I'm just such a fan. It's so cozy. I'll leave it linked, actually, if any of you are interested in checking it out. Oh, yes. Okay, I was so happy to have found these. These are a two set of marble coasters. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with like the white company this is typical white company style homeware piece so these were 4 dollars for a pack of two but they were in the sale at £1.49 so as soon as I saw these I actually first spotted the ones that have quotes on them I think with like gin or wine or be mine I don't know there's quotes on them the other ones and then I saw just a plain marble set and I was like brilliant getting it putting it in my basket £1.49 um so happy to have found this one I did only spot the one in RLD that was plain marble I don't know why they aren't all plain because I feel like more people would want just plain marble as opposed to with the writing on okay I picked up myself a new candle these ones have like an iridescent finish to them I don't know why they changed it up because to be honest with you I prefer the plain and they did have some plain ones but in the scent that I liked which was pomegranate number three it came in this iridescent jar and to be honest with you I've been after a new three wicker so I picked this one up 7 dollars I think these are usually 9 dollars so again this one was reduced which I was very happy about and we all know they're a little Jew Jew Malone dupe <laughs> Jo Malone dupe with this scent pomegranate I'm not gonna lie they're not as strong as like Jo Malone scents and everything are but if you're just wanting like the aesthetic like I said for every day burning in the evening I just these are my go-to and then the last thing from that bag is this this is a set of five fragrances again very Jo Malone inspired to be honest with you I sometimes wonder how they get away with it because it is such it's not even like a, a similar they're like exact copies i'm actually going to test them out now just so that if you guys wanted to try them yourself but they're rubbish then at least you've heard it from me lime basil and mandarin velvety rose peony bitter orange pomegranate the one i was particularly interested in trying is bitter orange because this is actually I think it's orange bitters from Jo Malone, but it was a, it's like a limited edition wintry Christmas scent and I love it. So if this smells anything like it, I'm very happy to have found it. And at such a cute little, let me actually spray it on and see if we can smell this. Okay, that's very orange. Oh my God, it's literally just, I smell like I've just had oranges. I wouldn't say it's, a nice fragrance it literally smells of oranges let's try the lime basil and mandarin because again this is another fave of mine Lydia really likes the peony blush suede so I'll try that one as well if you prefer the more floral oh this one's nice lime basil and mandarin yeah I like that and what a perfect little size for your handbag as well I might as well just try them all Yeah, that is floral. So it's not for me, that one, but if you like that floral peony blush suede type scent, then you'll probably like that one. Hmm, that's not... Hmm, it's nice, but I don't think it's that similar to Jo Malone. No, I don't know if I like that one as much. I think because I know the pomegranate scent so well and the bitter, the orange bitters, they've let me down a little bit. But that retails for $14.99 which I feel like could make a cute little gift for someone okay let me show you this item next fun little number they have these pans pancake pans and this one is actually waffle because it's got the uh, waffle pattern on there but I'm just going to use it as if it was like little mini pancakes I think it was Gemma Gemma was it you that recently made li yourself little pancakes for breakfast and I was hooked and I was like oh, I'm going to start doing that for my breakfast 
Maybe you could do like banana pancakes, healthier versions. $7.99 these were originally, but these have now been reduced to just $3.99. They have ones with funny smiley faces on. They have just a plain one that you can do like a big crepe on. Kitchen roll, nothing much else really to say about that. Okay, they had these little car air fresheners in at $1.99 each. There were four different scents, black cherry, coconuts, Paradise Island or something like that. This one, which is white jasmine and then creamy vanilla. I thought I would like the white jasmine one most. So I picked this one up at $1.99. Next up are the genius floor wipes that Aldi create at such an affordable price. The reason why I like these so much, they're only 15 in a pack and they are extra large wipes. So they are big, which is great. And they actually have apple, which is my favorite scent. But leading into spring, I'm sure I'm gonna be doing a nice spring cleaning video very soon. I thought I'd pick up this one, which is just fresh. And they are only 59p, so mega, mega bargain there. Next up, we have a little fun item that was reduced to £1.49. These were originally, I think, yeah, 4 pounds So they've just been reduced as well. This is the things to do scratch list. And it's like the ultimate bucket list, which consists of things like uh, getting a tattoo, <laughs> see about that one, bungee jump, um, learn to play a new instrument, they had different ones where there was like city breaks, different foods you've got to try, loads of different things. Okay, the next item for the coffee lovers out there, like me, who also have an espresso machine, these are Nespresso machine compatible, so I wanted to try them out, I got both the caramel and the vanilla, you get 10 pods in each at £1.29 per box. I think the Nespresso boxes retail for about anywhere between £3.50 and £4 per box, so still very affordable. However, um, these are half the price. I'll let you guys know what I think, and yeah, I'm excited to give these a try. I'm not sure what to think about this next one, but I had to pick it up to show you guys that they have them in. They have this little craft section with these £4.99 boxes they have different ones you can choose from like they had a macrame one which i nearly got but i wanted to go for the hot stone massage kit i've always wanted to try a hot stone massage so i'm intrigued i also picked up this choc shot it's called which is only 13 calories per teaspoon so it's plant-based natural ingredients so i wanted to try it out Full price, I can't remember how much these are. They're two pounds something, whether it's 2 dollars I can't quite remember. But this one, because it's the Winter Spice Edition, was in the sale for £1.49. So I thought, what better time to try this than now with the Winter Spice one, which would probably be my first pick anyway. Winter Spice. I'm such an awesome winter fan, aren't I? I just love all the cosy vibes. £2.49 each. I couldn't really do this Aldi homeware haul without picking up the Jo Malone dupes for the hand soap and hand moisturisers. This actually has and body lotion so you can use it all over. The scent I went for is Freesia and Pear of which I think the Jo Malone is English Pear and Freesia because I've got the fragrance actually like in a small mini. So I think that's what it is in Jo Malone but yeah I mean, these are always a handy little thing to either have downstairs by the kitchen sink or upstairs in our bathroom. And mega bargain at £2.49. Oh, I also picked up the apple scent. So I did get the apple. I thought I did, but I was like, I can't see them in the bag anyway. So I got the fresh ones, but I also picked up my faves, the apple. A checkout impulse buy, three pack of chewing gum. It's always something that I usually pick up, so woo. Next. £3.49, £2.99. So these are the last two candles that I picked up and this is the classic from the luxury collection, the hotel collection, in number one lime basil and mandarin. It's a nice, um, again, that basil lime and mandarin is perfect for spring. And that's two wicks, that one. This one is just single wick and it's kind of like Yankee Candle inspired. This one is in sugared cinnamon. They obviously have different scents to choose from, but again, but the autumn lover of me is just drawn to this kind of scent, sugared cinnamon. They also have reed diffusers at £3.49. This one that I picked up is in number 24, Rose Noir, which I feel like it's funny because when I was watching Amy's video and she picked up some reed diffusers with gold and said it's a shame that it's not silver, 
I'm the reverse. So if only they did every cent in both gold and silver because I would always opt for gold, but not everyone would. So it's so frustrating where for me on this occasion, I've gone for the aesthetic, I've gone for the gold, but it wouldn't have been my preferred scent choice. So the one that I really liked is the pomegranate one and the lime basil and mandarin, but they're all silver with black reeds. And they did have uh, sweet almond and macaroon in gold as well. Okay, penultimate item now. We only have one left after this. And these are some very handy jars. Now, originally they were $6.99 in Aldi, but they were in the clearance section for 99p. So I had to pick these up. Different sized jars which would be handy for putting dried goods in and then labeling them up with my Dymo label printer and popping these in the kitchen. Okay, the last and final item is a bullet journal, which I think is incredible. This is what I'm gonna be giving away to one of you guys because I, if you've seen my vlogs recently, have been getting into bullet journaling. I do actually have, if you wanna see it in detail, I have a highlighted tab called bullet journal on my Instagram home account. If you wanna see how I've designed my bullet journal, then head over there. At 2 dollars originally, these were in the sale for £1.50. They had different wellness planners as well, which I thought was so unique and handy, although this was the last of the bullet journal one that I could find. They also had bucket list one. I'm going to give it to one of you guys. So any of you that have been inspired by and really interested in my bullet journaling progress, you have a dotted notebook here which you can design yourself with the dual brush markers as well, which are really handy because these on Amazon, I picked mine ones up for, I think they were about £2.05 per pen. So um, they've, they've even thrown in a little bit of washi tape and some highlighters all you need to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to this channel and then follow me on both my instagram accounts Frame home turn home let's try and get it to 10k that would be amazing if we could do it with this giveaway and then my regular daily one of Freya Farrington one so follow me on both of those and then just pop a comment down below letting me know you're done with your Instagram handle so that I can check that you're following both accounts and then also reach out to the winner on Instagram so you do have to have Instagram to enter this I'm going to make it international wherever you are in the world be sure to enter you can enter as many times as you want by commenting down below Hello, just spam my comments and that will obviously increase your chances of winning so best of luck to everyone who enters I will pick out a winner next week thank you so much to everyone for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you want more Aldi random aisle and middle of Lidl hauls like this be sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you head over and watch Amy's if you like this kind of video because you will love hers Subscribe if you're not already, notification bells on, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!